Hello YouTube, Slate Warrior here with the first dual video that I've uploaded be uh, since the new format happened. This is my video of my, not that you can tell from the hand, but uh, it's a TG deck. I guess you can see by the skill drain. Uh, you'll see the inspiration for why I'm playing TGs later. I know I just uploaded a deck profile on that uh, Eye of Truth deck, but you know I'm not showing it off yet. I will probably do some duels with that, but not right now. So this is a pretty long duel. It was 35 minutes that I condensed it down to uh, like 22. Uh, so, you know, just sit back and enjoy. It's, it's pretty slow, honestly. But, okay, so I take a direct attack from the Photon Thrasher. Uh, I decided to pass again. I'm going to take another direct attack. I have a, a Mirror Force, but I want to see if he'd summon something else before he's Mirror Force, and he wisely doesn't. I try to take 21. Uh, I messed up on the little command that you do in the chat box. and I So I sub 2,100 life points. I take 4,200 damage in two turns, which is pretty bad. Uh, but it's okay because life points don't matter in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, <laughs> I realize that he's not going to overextend like I want him to, so I'm just going to, I believe, smear, or uh, scapegoat. I scapegoat the uh, the photon thrasher there, so I, t I summon three of them because he would have just stacked over the other one. No, and I realized that he's playing go go Ghost, which of course, technically this is a game two. Uh, we did a rematch. Uh, the first game wasn't as interesting, so I decided to just post this one, but we didn't like side deck or anything, so it's more like a game one. So he brings out King of the Paralymps. And what he does is he activates its effect. So I chain MST. The reason I chain MST is because I want to get my skill drain off. But if he has an MST set, if I activate skill drain first, if he has MST back there, he'll just activate it and hit my skill drain. But if I activate MST and hit his MST, then he'll just uh, chain it and have to hit a random back row. So I just wanted to decrease the chances of my skill drain dying. So he sets one more and I get my skill drain off, he gets no search. That's what I want. So I Dragon's Mirror. This is a little secret tech. This is the uh, inspiration for the deck today. I Dragon's Mirror to bring out We Arm, which is the new OCG card. Uh, it takes two normal monsters, the level 9 dragon with 2700 attack. It is unaffected by monster effects. Can be destroyed by battle by an effect monster. So I attack over his King of the Feral, or I think I'm going to attack over his King of the Feral. Uh, he eventually activates the Fiend's Chain, but we just, he wanted to go over if I could use Dragon's Mirror on those tokens. I know that you can. His question was basically so um, if you have like Deep Prisoner Compulse or cards like that, and they target a. Uh, a token it would just get removed from the field just like if it got destroyed like he was thinking that you literally can't banish it at all so like if real cards were what we were playing with token of course wouldn't go into the pile of banished cards it would just you know go back into the extra deck or to you know your lap or wherever you're keeping your, your tokens and uh, so you know if I activate dragon's mirror I can remove those two cards from the field as uh, of the effect of the card you know Remove from play from your side of the field or the graveyard. So, you know, from my side of the field, I just remove the two tokens. And, you know, that should be, you know, everything that I need to do in this case. Uh, and, you know, he eventually agrees with me that I'm probably right. I even though I said he could look up a ruling if he wants. So, we resolve that pretty peacefully. I mean, this is unrated. So, yeah, he just fiend his chains and we move on. And then I decide to hover over my lance for a second, which I don't exactly know what I was trying to do with that. Because if I tacked into him, you know, I'd just die. <laughs> that wouldn't help me very much. So yeah, yeah, I don't use Lance. <laughs> uh, so I set another scapegoat here, and I don't really see a situation in which I need that scapegoat, but he does attack over the token that I have, uh, I believe. I don't think he makes any other play. Let's see what he does. We've got three back row here. He's got seven cards to my seven, so we're even right now, and I have to draw advantage because I draw next turn. So yeah, like I said, he just attacks over my token. And what he sets him back on me in base two. Nope, he just passes back to me. And I, I draw another scapegoat here, so I just end my turn. Just sitting on my Wii Arm. I just I stall with Wii Arm for a very long time. Wii Arm and scapegoat. So this is a really stally duel. I mean I'll try to entertain you with the, the stuff that I say, but you know, I'm really not doing much in, in terms of dueling in this one. Uh, the ending is pretty cool. Like I have some pretty good responses to his moves. Alright, so draw the dark bolt, which is always a good draw. Looking over my scapegoat. I turn Wii Arm into defense mode. The reason I did that is the same reason that I let the first couple Boton Thrasher attacks go through is because I want him to overextend so I can get a big plus off of Mirror Force. So he does attack into my Wii Arm and I will then activate Mirror Force and I'll go plus one which is nice. So yeah the, the changing into defense definitely baited the uh, the attack. He thought he could get in some extra 2000 damage there but he didn't. Thought I made a mistake. So yep uh, I'm just thinking about what I can do now. Nothing in the end phase. Nothing with my back row. So I draw into TG Striker which is pretty good. So yeah, I move uh, We Arm back to attack mode because it has more attack than defense and I don't have a trap that I can really use right now. I've got no battle reactive traps, no summon reactive traps. I don't actually run that, uh, I run zero summon reactive traps. I'll, I'll deck profile this for you guys some other time, but yeah. So I normal summon the TG Striker because I have the TG1 EM1. 
So I can just, you know, push for 800 damage. Finally, crack his life points. So he draws. He's got eight cards, and I have eight also. So, you know, we're still staying even. So he won for ones with that Rota. Rota 2 is so cool. I love this format. Go Your Guardian is also awesome. And it definitely supports my TG deck because, you know, Special Summon Striker and Normal Summon Rush Rhino is a easy Go Your Guardian. So he Special Summons Photon Thrasher again. And I believe when he attacks my uh, TG Striker, I will TG1, EM1 to take control of his Photon Thrasher. Photon Thrasher is an interesting card. I know that he plays Mass Chameleon in this deck. So, you know, that's a good card to pair with it because it's a, you know, a card that could use in rank 4 uh, and uh, level 8 synchros. Rank 4 uh, Xyz monsters because he plays a lot of those too. I know he's playing King of the Feralumps to search out his Mass Chameleons and, you know, presumably Kage to Kages. So yeah, he just changed the TG Striker that I gave him into defense mode and passes. And when I get back to my turn, I can attack that TG Striker and then gain advantage off of its effect. Because even though it's from his side of the field, TG Striker gets his effect no matter where it's sent from. So I'll get the effect to add a TG card from my deck to my hand, a TG Monster from my deck to my hand besides a uh, TG Striker. So I'm just panning over my sets. And the only deck that sets in main phase 1 is Infernity, so I'm not going to set my Mirror Force yet. Alright, so I go into the battle phase, and I believe I attack with Photon Thrasher, of course, because that's the only one I can attack with. Uh, there's Skill Drain, of course, so I can uh, definitely attack with Photon Thrasher, even if he's not the only monster I control. So I uh, set my uh, Mirror Force, and then I get my search from TG Striker. I go for a Rush Rhino, and I pass back to him. I've got a Mirror Force, so I feel pretty protected right now. So he uses Onomatopera, which he was talking about as one of his favorite cards. It's, it's a... Two for two. You there's a discard cost and you can add up to two monsters from your deck to your hand. They have to have different names. Gaga Gaz, Gogo Goes, Zubabaz, and Dododos. He adds Dododo Buster and Gaga Ga Gardena, a card that I'd never see think I'd see anybody play in it, you know, even a semi competitive deck. I know this what I'm gonna call this Gogo Go in the titles, you know. Gogo Go isn't really the most competitive deck, but uh, you know, he's he's playing uh Gaga Ga Gardena, so that's an interesting one. Alright, so what he did here is he uh he actually special summoned Dodo Buster by its own summon condition, thinking that it would go down to level 4 for him to make a play. But because Skill Drain's on the field, it stays at level 6, and that'll actually uh, hurt him later. But it also hurts him now, because he's just got a 1900 attack level four, uh, level 6 <laughs> monster that he can't do anything with. Uh, so yeah, I thought he couldn't do anything with it. He, he does end up making a, a little bit of a play with it later. Uh, but yeah, I main phase 1, normal summon card, card D, and I send it to the graveyard to draw 2, gains of advantage. This card gains advantage really fast. Like I know I, I said I'm stalling with the arm, and that does happen a lot. I can stall with the uh, the, the search loops with the TGs, and also I can stall with like getting uh, scapegoats and uh, getting advantage off of supply squad, which I run in threes. Uh, but you know, even though I'm stalling, I definitely get tons of advantage from that stall because I can just use my battle traps and my uh, summon. Like I have uh, vanity's emptiness and skill drain to just stun him, and I guess that's why people call it TG stun. So he soul charges for two, and then I'm talking about, yeah, I asked him if he's walling up, and I'm just like, I completely forgot to put soul charge in this deck, which I probably will do, because, you know, I do get the TGs in the graveyard, you know, not really fast, but kind of fast from their searching loops. So yeah, uh, he tries to normal summon Mask Chameleon, I tell him that he can't because he controls a monster that is level five or higher. He goes ahead and makes uh, Gauntlet Launcher, I believe. Gauntlet Launcher in defense mode, which I was asking him if he was walling up, and he said no, but it turns out that I guess he is, but I think the only reason he did that is because, yeah, so he can summon the Mask Chameleon, and then uh, I have no response for that. So he goes into Scrap Dragon. Scrap Dragon. He doesn't get the effect of a Mask Chameleon because uh, Skill Drain. He goes into Scrap Dragon, which is 2-8 beat stick, which is pretty nice. He's thinking over whether he can further his Soul Charge play, and lucky for me, he can't, so he just passes his turn back to me. And I didn't activate any TG effects, so I don't get anything in the end phase. So I just draw Supply Squad, pretty nice. Check out my extra deck. I'm thinking of uh, if I crash with the Rush Rhino, I can search a Striker. Uh, I actually make a misplay here. I was panning over my extra deck, by the way, guys. If you wanted to check that out, you can go back, uh, rewind the video, check it out. Uh, but I'm playing one Fusion and 14 Synchros. Alright, so what I thought I could do here, because I'm stupid, is think that I could attack into Scrap Dragon and, uh, you know, use his effect to put him up to 2,000, but of course Skill Drain is on the field. And then what I do is he'd go to 2,000, and then I could use Lance on his Scrap Dragon, and we'd both be 2,000, we'd crash, and I'd get my search. And yeah, see, I'm thinking damage, like, like that was going to help me at all. 
So he says okay, and I realize that I misplay, so I just send my rush round out of the graveyard, and I still get my search, but, you know, I'm not actually getting rid of any of his monsters. So instead of going two for two, I just go one for one. Two for two meaning I'd use Lance and I'd actually get rid of his Scrap Dragon. So what I do is I take some life points, I get rid of my Rush Rhino, and I go ahead and search the Striker for next turn. If I need it, which I, I think I do use it. Alright, so uh, I believe, what, I think, he, I think he uses Card Card D here. I believe that he just, you know, tries to keep getting advantage. I'm not, I'm not positive about that, but, you know, he, he can't activate any, uh, or he can't, you know, resolve any of his monster effects in the field. So uh, he plays Card Card D. You know, Card Card D is a pretty good card to combo with Skill Drain because, you know, you activate it on the field and then it can't be negated because it uh, goes to the grave. You know, it sends itself to the grave as uh, cost to activate effects. That's why I run three Card Card Ds in this deck because I play Skill Drain. So he's, he's looking over his extra deck, trying to see if he can think of anything. Yes, he does go for Card Card D. For sure, it's a, a fine play. He'll be getting six cards, so even if he doesn't have anything to set right now, he'll have six cards during his end phase and he won't have to worry about discarding. So he ends his turn, pass it back to me. And I will special summon, or normal summon, sorry, normal, of course, I control monsters. Normal summon my TG Striker. I have, to, I really have to open up some room in my back row. I don't think I do that yet, but I have a full back row and I have tons of cards in my hand that I could be putting down there. Double Supply Squad and D Prison. I don't actually uh, use the Welcome supply squads yet, of course. Um, Just looking over what I have in my hand, what I have in my extra deck, thinking about what kind of six I can go into. Uh, because I'm thinking about normal summoning TG Striker. If I had a, a rank four in my extra deck, I'd probably go for TG Rush Rhino. But, you know, I don't. <laughs> I have 14 synchros. Uh, I don't actually go into situations where I can make XCs that much. I haven't yet done many duels with this deck, probably with about five. Uh, but, you know. I've definitely come into more situations in which I'd rather sneak around. Uh, the only tuners I play are the, are the strikers, but you know, you can recycle them with the uh, the trap that you draw. Yeah, I go into Goyo here. You know, I'm thinking, you know, a uh, two eight thing that can crash with uh, his Scrap Dragon is fine. I can't make Lost Fighter. I don't even think I play it. So, yeah, he solemns that, which is a good move. You know, Goyo is a good card. It's worth the life points. You know, negating a summon definitely worth two thousand life points in this case. And uh, because he did that, I just have to stall more with the arm. I can't do anything. Or actually, whoa, maybe I. No, that's not this turn. Okay. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. I definitely have a play later. Uh, kind of odd play. It's pretty cool. But no, I don't do it yet. Uh, yeah, that, that's actually much later in the duel because I need to draw. Oh no, maybe it's next turn. All right, sweet so Marmelios. He of course gets no effect. Check out my graveyard. Yeah. So when he attacks, I'm Mirror Force to go plus again with Mirror Force, guys. Guys, why is how do you how do you, how can you say Mirror Force is a bad card when I can plus off it like so crazy like this? I mean, I guess combined with Skill Drain, it's a different deal because monsters don't really protect themselves. But you know, I've always liked uh, Mirror Force as a card. I'm glad it's up to three. He's playing lots of battle caps, playing triple D prison, triple Mirror Force in this deck. So he goes for Veil, Battle and Boxer Veil, which is a pretty good tech card. So uh, good with Rhodus, you can search it. All right, so I believe I draw into an MST here. No, that must be the next turn. Because I know when I draw into an MST, I make a really cool play because he has that uh, Fiendish Chain, so I can't attack until I get uh, an MST to get rid of it. So yeah, I set the TGX 3DX2 and I can get some draws next turn, uh, during the end phase of his turn. So he draws. He's got seven live cards right now. Uh, I don't consider Gauntlet Launcher a live card because he can't activate its effect. So he Soul Charges. And again, he's still charging for one this time. I believe he goes for Scrap Dragon. And that's not the last... The, this is the second time we've seen Scrap Dragon. It's definitely not the last time we're going to see Scrap Dragon. It keeps coming back. Alright, and then he sets one and passes because he used Soul Charge. And then I, in the end phase, activate the uh, TG draw card. TG X3, whatever. TX2 or something like that. <laughs> so I shuffle three TGs back into the deck. And draw two cards. It's a simple plus one trap. It's a really nice card. It's a reckless greed, basically. Except you have to have some setup. Which is fine because, you know, I float for days. So I get the setup. I now have triple supply squad in hand. My hand is gigantic right now. I got eight cards. I still haven't drawn into that MST. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely part of the uh, weirdness here. I activate scapegoat for no reason. I have two in the back row, which I definitely shouldn't have done in the first place. I don't know why I needed two scapegoats. Set. I guess I was just trying to scare him really in the middle of having lots of back row. He changed back so he gets a one for one. No big deal. I mean, he knows that I wasn't planning on trusting summoning anything else. Uh, what can I do? I've got a... I've got We Arm there, and I've got four scapegoat tokens, or four goat tokens, so I can't do anything with those. Alright, so I drew into Vanity's Emptiness, that's definitely a card that's going to benefit you later. So I set that, and I believe I activate Supply Squad here, because if he does happen to attack into one of my tokens with um, Scrap Dragon, 
I will be able to, you know, start plusing. Got four tokens, so I could potentially go plus, what, three? Yeah, plus three. Because I, I only used one card to make all four tokens. Which is great. So he card cards. He's going to card car for two, of course. That's the only number of cards that you can card car for. <laughs> so he goes into his end phase. He decides not to attack, which, you know, makes sense. Because he knows that I'm going to be getting uh, pluses off of Supply Squad. Alright, so I got seven cards in my hand now. Got a pretty full field. Still haven't drawn the MST. Yeah, MSTs are hiding from... From him and for me. Uh, I had one earlier in the game. Uh, of course, I activated it uh, in response to his uh, King of the Feralimps because, you know, like I said, I wanted to prevent him from doing anything uh, to combat my skill drain, which, as you can see, has totally worked out for me. Like, taking precaution to make sure that skill drain stays up in the field. Skill drain's been doing great in this duel. Yeah, if I could crash one of my tokens, I really would. <laughs> Because, you know, if I crashed into that gun launcher, of course, I would take 28 damage and lose the duel, which is not my intention at all. So he's checking out his graveyard. He's got tons of live cards. He's got seven. I forgot to discard during my end phase, so I do that. I discard a supply squad because my back row is so cloggy that I will never get it. So this time he minuses himself. He decides to activate on a para. He's using two cards, but he only searches one. He searches, uh, what? Go, 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 golem. Yes, he searches go, 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 golem, which I never, I don't actually think I see it in this duel. Alright, so he sets that. Or maybe, maybe this is the card that, yeah, because now I draw an MST, right? Yeah, alright. So that, that might be a go, go, golem that he just set. So this is what I do. I, I lance my Wii arm. You can guess what I'm going to do, right? Take a guess, take a guess, right? Yeah, he says crash a token, totally. So I lance my Wii, I think about it, because I have lots of cards to activate. But what I end up doing is I lance my Wii arm, if I get to doing that come on speed up salvatore <laughs> all right yeah so i lance my wii arm <laughs> i've said that like four times and i haven't activated it yet come on Jeez, what am i waiting for that's the play that i'm gonna make i don't know i guess it was a complicated play i had to give up you know having the chance to go plus here do i, do I even draw yeah okay so i i uh lance my wii arm i'm not even sure if i even activated do what do i get do I get a draw from Supply Squad if I Dark Bowl? I don't know. Let me see if I pan over Supply Squad so I can check. So yeah, I'm uh, Lancing We Arm. So I can activate Dark Bowl. Get rid of all the monsters in the field. So I'm going 3 for 3 there. I'm activating Lance, Dark Bowl, and the Escape Code that I activated earlier to get rid of 3 of his monsters. Let's see if I can pan over. Yeah, because I don't. I definitely don't draw. <laughs> so I, activ I uh, activate MST targeting Fiendish Chain so I can get an attack in for 19. But no, I'm really curious about if I can draw with that. I don't exactly know... Supply Squad's card text if it has to be destroyed by my opponent's card or what. I don't think it does, so I think I should have drawn there or whatever. That's, uh, that's my fault. So normal summon TD Rush Rhino. And he makes a, a very small misplay here. It's not a big deal. But uh, essentially, I attacked first with uh, We Arm for 19. And he takes the 19. And what he should have done is because look, he's going to activate. Yeah, so I, he takes 19. Right? And I'm not, I'm not completely sure about this play. So yeah, on enter battle phase, he activates uh, Call the Haunted, so I go ahead and uh, chain Vanity's Emptiness. He's trying to block with Scrap Dragon, I assume. So, you know, Vanity's Emptiness, of course, blocks the, uh, res the proper resolution of Call the Haunted, so it just stays there. And then he takes the 19. And I don't think that he, well, you'll see later, but he had a Fiendish Chain set. One of his sets is a Fiendish Chain, and I don't think he realizes that he could have just activated Fiendish Chain in response to the Wii Arm, and he would have taken 300 less damage. You know, I mean, I don't think there's any meta cards right now that has a big difference between having 300 life points and 600. The only burn cards that I can think of are Cowboy, Black Ship, Corn. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, the the <laughs> the one uh, Satellar Knight, the one that does a thousand. So I guess you know, 300, but 300 and 600 are the same thing to the Satellar Knight that burns for a thousand. So I set uh, one. I set Mirror Force to protect my Rush Rhino for him just attacking over it for game. I don't know how big a monster he can make. Normal summons the go go go. Uh, not sure which one that is, but uh, he attacks my Rush Rhino and I Mirror Force it, getting rid of both my Vanities and my Mirror Force and his go 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 monster. He of course can't activate the effect of that go 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 monster. Normally he'd be able to, but you know I got Skill Drain, which is totally putting in work this duel, man. TGs and Skill Drain just go together so well. And we arm, we arm just goes so well with TG's and Skill Drain. So he special summons that guy to wall up, and I get my drop turn. That's another werewolf. So I normal summon a werewolf here. Attack over his his defense position monster. It only has 800 defense. Yeah, he can't believe he hasn't seen a single MST 
I saw, I saw one. Yeah, skill drain is hard to play around. That's the point of the deck. That's, you know, I'm, uh, yeah. See, I'm saying that. See, I'm thinking just, just then, the same way that I'm thinking now. So normal summon the werewolf. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna attack over that. Everything floats in this deck, so, you know. Using the uh, the skill drains is a no-brainer. Okay, so Gaga Gardeners. That's a card that I never thought I'd see anybody actually play. So yeah. Uh, I you know take oh uh, yeah I forgot I actually made an illegal move there like twice <laughs> I can't attack directly with TG uh, TG Rush right now because it's fiendish chained of course and uh, he doesn't notice that and I, I eventually notice it and I don't I don't tell him but you know I just uh, attack with the we arm it's the same thing if I attack with the arm you special summon the Gardner and then when I attacked his Gardner with my we arm it would die so the same thing because you know I, I attacked with the Rush Rano, uh into his uh, Gardner which is even double stupid because. He has two as defense, so I just take that back. I realize that I can't attack, and I attack over it with the Wii arm. And then I set one, activate Supply Squad. He sets one and passes. So I'm pretty much thinking that I have game here. Like, I don't really think there's very many things he can do. Yeah. So here in the chat box, I'm talking about something that makes no sense because Wii arm can only be Special Summoned by Fusion Summoned. By Fusion Summoned. I'm thinking there's that one level 9 Synchro that Special Summons a level 9 uh, monster from your graveyard. I forget what its name is, but you know, I, that doesn't actually combo well with Fearm because Fearm can't be special summoned uh, besides Fusion Summon, and that of course is not a Fusion Summon. So he, Call of the Haunted here, and I have no response to that. <laughs> I have vanities in my hand, it might have been nice to do that. So he brings back Scrap Dragon for the third time, what could have been the fourth time, you know, because he has that other Call of the Haunted picks up. Uh, he runs Magic Planter, I saw that in game one, so you know, he's definitely getting used out of all these continuous traps. So I move that into defense mode, and then I look at my extra deck, and I can't make any. Thing because I have three monsters with different levels, none of them are tuners. And then I ask him, can I change Warwolf to defense? Even though it attacked, I was just, you know, thinking about it. But, you know, it definitely cannot be moved to defense mode. Uh, it did declare an attack, and it got a replay because of the Call of the Haunted. And I did not continue uh, with the attack. But regardless, I declared it, so I can't change the battle position this turn. So from there, during the duel, he attacks, I defrison, and he scoops. Alright, so thanks for watching. Definitely comment down below what you think. Uh, and subscribe for more videos. Favorite if you like it that much. And I'll see you later, YouTube.